Hello, my name is Glenn Hauer, and I would like to discuss the Firefly deployment highlights for an acquisition that took place in May 2009 in East Texas, targeting the Haynesville Shale gas play. The Haynesville Shale, possibly the fourth largest shale gas play in the world, underlies much of the Gulf Coast region of the United States. It is a black, organic-rich shale of upper Jurassic age deposited about 150 million years ago in a shallow, offshore environment. Natural gas production in the upper Jurassic Haynesville formation occurs from rocks about two miles beneath the surface. Estimates today possibly making it the largest gas field in the USA. Originally, it was considered to be a gas source rock rather than a gas reservoir because of its low permeability. However, today, many companies are buying leases making it a hot play. The Haynesville is one of the deepest of the ongoing shale plays which makes it, makes it expensive and technically challenging. Some key facts. Recoverable, recoverable resource estimates are in the 30 to 250 trillion cubic feet range. The upper range would make it the fourth largest gas field in the world. Compared to other shale resource plays, it has a higher porosity, 12%. However, at the same time with ultra low permeability. This will necessarily need to be produced from horizontal wells, fracked, drilled to 10,500 feet deep at a cost approaching $10 million each. Exploration and development plans within the Haynesville Shale have become increasingly popular. Characterized on the surface by the dense pine forests of East Texas, Northwest Louisiana, and Southwest, Southwest Arkansas, the forest cavity pictured here is indicative of the demanding seismic acquisition environment for one global EMP company in particular. The primary objective for their seismic project is to gain a richer characterization of the Haynesville target, which is primary, with the Cotton Valley and Smackover being secondary targets. And all this in order to optimize planned horizontal drilling and hydro frat programs. In addition, the EMP client's field trial goals were to test Firefly's vibrosize functionality as well as the quality of a 3D, 3C seismic data volume. The seismic program actually consists of two projects, with one section used as a smaller geophysical parameter for both sources and receivers and operational test. Various source types highlight the various varied surface cover. There are more open farming and mining areas with active coal mining and reclaimed land, as well as the dense forest and small lakes. This program will be the first larger survey using three source types with Firefly, fiber size being the primary source with small amount of air done on lakes and dynamite. Technologies are Firefly version two, vector size sensors, and the Kinex command and control software system. Lots of HSE challenges in the area. We have nearby power plants, coal mines, and energy infrastructure. With personnel working so closely to such infrastructure, the safety of the crew is of paramount concern. Other flags for HSE concern. There are multi-layer forest canopies, swamps, and water hazards in the area. Recognizing the complexity of the topography presented along with the health, safety, and environmental challenges, the EMP company decided to use Firefly, ION's cableless land acquisition system to acquire the data. Like most oil and gas companies, strict HSC adherence is critical to the success of core business commitments and they believed that Firefly would address these challenges. The key feature is Connex, the high-value operational management tool that integrates pre-planned and mapped hazards, exclusions, access, survey design and data acquisition auditing, and route management, enabling users of Firefly to not only acquire seismic data, 
but to do it in a manner meeting the HSE objectives and policies of the EMP company. To add to the complexity of this survey, the fear of snakes and insects. The terrain is home to many poisonous snakes, including rattlesnakes, coral snakes, cottonmouths, and water moccasins, and of course the critters that the snakes feed on also feast on cables. A cableless system such as Firefly in such an environment makes sense. There are also sensitivities to private landowners. The Firefly architecture allows crews to get in safely, leaving very minimal footprint behind. Easy permitting, since one does not have to string a cable and equipment through the properties, allowing easy carry in and out with a single station deployment. Most landowners in the area, area are also farmers. Again, the architecture allows for easy in and out with minimal disturbance to livestock and to the equipment once it's, it's deployed. This is a viber size acquisition in an area really suited to dynamite shooting. However, near surface ground disturbance due to dynamite shooting was an issue. Lots of power and pipeline infrastructure exist underground, as well as the environmental concerns with dynamite and wildlife specific to this terrain. The vibes as you see in the picture are 60,000 pound AHV4 vibes running the Kinex vehicle navigation tool, a route management feature tied to the source driven acquisition demands of all viber size operations, including Firefly. In this particular survey, for the next project, we will need dynamite and air guns, and they are to be used to acquire, in addition to the uh, viber size shots, 11,650 receiver points of full wave seismic data. This survey will mark the first viber size operation with Firefly in a commercial manner. Firefly can minimize HSE risks even in the most challenging and environmentally sensitive areas. Firefly's cableless architecture was an integral piece of the imaging equation. Without having the restraint of cables, especially moving around the multiple obstructions in this area, the EMP company's geoscientists were able to design the survey to the unique surface, near surface, and subsurface challenges to obtain the best possible spatially sampled data. The differences in deployment or carrying weight between the cabled systems and Firefly in this area translate into productivity gains and cost savings. We have reduced mobilization, fewer and or faster crews in this type of terrain, decreased man-hour exposure, and a reduced environmental footprint. Firefly Seismic Operations Tool connects is an integral part of the survey operations. During the survey deployment, the crew will rely heavily on the root navigation features of Kinex. Using LiDAR and GIS technologies, Kinex enables crews to navigate and plan routes around the natural and man-made hazards within the survey during the operation. Throughout the survey, Kinex will ensure accurate tracking of source and receiver locations and field crews providing both the EMP company and the seismic contractor unprecedented visibility into all operations. Placed on the edge of well pad clearing well outside of the actual test survey area, the recording trailer provided a detailed picture of the entire seismic acquisition operation via a wireless communication link to a remote antenna tower placed in the middle of the survey area. This enables a strategic placement for surveys with restricted access to vehicles such as trailers being pulled by pickup trucks. One of the key features of Firefly is the ability to communicate with field equipment. We can receive, they, the field units can receive information and we can actually send commands to the field units. And in this particular first project with a lot of rain, this ability was necessary for power management to turn the boxes on and off with, uh, with, into sleep mode during the rain. It also keeps track of the vibe fleets. 
Here are some pictures of the staging operations. In addition, the data retrieval and transcription operations necessary with any cableless system architecture with high source count and high channel count requirements are placed in the same area. In summary, this was the first successful deployment of Firefly with Vibersize energy sources. The acquisition of the first mini project was completed on schedule in a challenging operating environment. It was HSE friendly acquisition enabled by a cableless recording system and software based command and control. The field trial was declared a success and a full field project to complete this survey will begin in August 2009. A very special thank you to the EMP asset owner and the Seismic Services provider for granting permission to publish this slideshow. Thank you.